So what you got to look at is that offensive line so poor with the Vikings right now. They're still learning to play with that quarterback. The quarterback's still learning. Can he still be, come up big in this game? I, I think he can. But if that offensive line is playing poor like they've been doing all year against that defensive line, that's where I'm looking at it. Plus the Rams could score. And I'm not worried about a kicker making one or two field goals when they're dropping 35 to 42 points on a great defense. Man, if that happens, I'm I'm taking them the rest of the year and not even worrying about the spread. So I'm glad that we disagree. But uh, listen, I'm with uh, the Rams this week. You're with the Vikings. We'll see and what happens. A good thing to have. Well, what do we have next, my friend? You know what? I am looking at uh, Lions and Cowboys. Um, Lions are going into Cowboys Stadium. What's it called now? Jerry's uh, World. Jerry World. <laughs> Jerry's World Dome. Yeah. So the Lions are going in, uh, getting three and a half points, right? So what Detroit team is the real team? Is it the first two games of the year with the new coach? Or is it a team that beat the snot out of the Patriots last week? You know, for me, the jury's still out, right? I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, but it, they've been like this for, for years. They've been a Jekyll and Hyde team. One week they look great. The next week they, they look terrible. The following week they look like they're a Super Bowl contender. The next week after that, they're drafting first in the NFL draft. It's maddening to watch, right? When I watch Stafford, their quarterback, I, I like him a lot. And then I hate him, right? He, I think he's the king of the fourth quarter garbage, making him a fantasy hero for, for a number of people. Stats, he drops stats like crazy, but a lot of it is in garbage time. you know. But we're, we're not talking about fantasy here. We're talking about real football, right? And, and real life, real life money putting down. And it drives people crazy. You know, he could be a Hall of Famer. And then the next week after that, get rid of him. Trade him. Get rid of your losses. Just get rid of the guy. You know, he drives me crazy. Your stats tell you he's a five, uh, top five quarterback in the league. Your eye test tells you, eh, 15 to 20, right? I'm not crazy about him. So I still think this team is finding themselves with Matt Patricia as their, their uh, coach. Right, and they're going to have some growing pains. And last week they did really well. You know, they beat the Patriots. How many teams can say, "Heck, I beat the Patriots and Tom Brady"? Well, they did it last week after two poor weeks. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, the Cowboys. I, I just don't like this team at all. You know, th- I, look, two years ago Dak Prescott was the darling of the NFL. I, I think he's nothing more than a game manager at this point. I, I don't even think he's a, even a good one. You know, how about this trend? Going back five games to last year, so this this year going back, he's only averaged eleven point eight points per game. Eleven point eight. That's not even good. That's not good. That's mediocre at best, right? That, that's not a trend I like to look at. All all three games this year, he's been under two hundred yards. Dating back to last year, nine out of eleven games, he's been under two hundred yards. This is a quarterback league. If you don't have a quarterback, you can't win. It's plain and simple. The Cowboys have an overhyped game manager. So this is what the game boils down for me with the Lions this week, okay? Can the Lions score? Yes, 100%. Is Stafford the king of garbage time? Yes, 100%. Is If Detroit is down 10 in the fourth quarter, do you trust Stafford to score a touchdown late to bring them within three and cover the spread? Yes. I'm taking the Lions. And the three and a half points. Yeah, I definitely can't disagree with you on that one. Uh, I was looking at that one too. The Cowboys have a pretty good home field advantage. They they beat the shit out of the Giants there, and then uh, now that doesn't you know it's a division rivalry. I thought I would have saw a little bit more out of the Giants, but they they got to Eli that game, and so um, I'd be worried a little bit more about how other defense plays. Their offense is is a little bit in trouble. Uh, Dak doesn't get a lot of time to pass like he used to. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, he you know he he's gonna get his yards, but you know they they run the they run the clock. You know they 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 try to pound the ball and they have no receivers for Dak, none, and uh, they they look pretty dysfunctional out there. You know, so uh, I definitely don't disagree with you there. When Frederick, their uh, center Frederick, went out with the autoimmune disorder, 
that's when I decided to start fading to uh, Cowboys myself. So uh, definitely agree with you on that. Um, not sure if I'm going to take it yet, but I like what you're doing. You know what? Listen, their best defensive player's out with the Cowboys. Uh, Lee, he's out, right? Their offensive line is shot. They, and like you said, they have no receivers. Do you trust them to score? I don't trust them to score as much as the, I trust the Lions even at home. You know, I, I think I, I like what you're doing there. I think, you know, I think the Lions could outright win this game. So, um, you know, the Lions, they got a lot of flack for that you know, loss against the Jets, and then they go to San Francisco and kind of come back towards the end. And, you know, San Francisco is pretty hyped up that game. So uh, right. I, I, I think I'm on, I, like I said, I'm on your side on this one. I, if if I'm betting this one, it, it's going to be the Lions or nothing for me. And I definitely like the three points there. What the hell, right? Heck, three and a half. Is it a three, three and a half? Three and a half in some places, yep. Oh, I like Do it. Do your shopping, but you can get three and a half, 100%. Well, the next game I'm going to move into is another side. San Francisco versus the L.A. Chargers. Looks like I'm staying in L.A. <laughs> um, so, okay, so we know what happened to Jimmy G, right? He, out mm-hmm. for the season. 49ers are in shambles, all sad about it and everything. Fan base probably, but uh, it's a little early to for this team to give up on their season. And if I know Kyle Shanahan, he's, not gonna, he's definitely not going to do that. C.J. Beathard. You know, I, I'm not sure how much business he has being in the NFL. Probably not a lot, but that doesn't mean he's as bad as some of the other garbage that I've seen out there as backups, right? At least this guy has a 55% completion percentage. It's not like Dak Prescott low, <laughs> and it's uh, and he's got a 69 quarterback rating. You know, it's a li- it's below average, but it's it's game manager quality, right? But most importantly to me is how the hell are the Chargers laying this many points with that terrible defense? The Chargers give up the second worst in the league, 31 points per game and 6.3 yards per play. Even a terrible team should be able to move the ball here. The 49ers are second in the NFL in rushing yards. Second. And they should be able to control the pace of this game. Um, Even expect Breida and Morris to have pretty big days. Uh, I know the loss of Richard Sherman is going to hurt the team against some of those Chargers receivers, but the Chargers look like they're going to be without Mike Williams. So they're just going to have to worry about Keenan Allen, really, uh, and maybe Benjamin. But this line pays no respect to Kyle Shanahan whatsoever at plus 10.5. I think Kyle's going to be able to dumb down this offense for C.J. Beathard, and it's going to be some dinking and dunking, you know, like we're, we've are we seen so many times, but that's going to keep this game close. I'm taking the Niners plus 10.5. <sighs> I looked at that game and looked at it at a, a lot, right? And I looked at the 49ers and I said, their their horse has a broken leg. Uh, their defense is hurting quite a bit. I I I'm not a I don't like Philip Rivers as a person, which always makes it difficult for me to put money with him, but. Uh, I, 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 it's CJ Beathard, right? Um, with the, with the banged up defense, it's CJ Beathard. Uh, can, yeah. The, and the Chargers played some very difficult teams, right? It's not like they were playing, um, the Jets, the, uh, the, the, the Cardinals and pick somebody else that's poor. They played some pretty good teams with the Steelers and the, and the Chiefs. And then, um, well, obviously the Bills. But uh, 10 and a half is a lot to lay. I'm staying away from it. If I had to do it, I would take the ch- um, Chargers. But I could see where your mindset is. I, it's just C.J. Beathard. Yeah, you know, and, and C.J. Beathard played before for this team and started some games. And it wasn't completely terrible. Uh, you know, he was able to... You know, like I said, eke some games out. I think that, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo is a lot better. But at the same time, 
you know, what what's he worth to the line? Is he worth like a, a Tom Brady type seven points? You know, <laughs> I'm not sure about that, man. I just think that Kyle Shanahan's just going to dumb it down enough to do it. And when you talk about injuries, don't forget what the Chargers did. They lost their starting cornerback in the preseason and they don't have Joey Bosa, their best defensive player, you know. So um, I'm okay with uh, I'm okay with the matched up injuries here. You know, Richard Sherman I thought I thought was he was kind of a little overhyped. I thought he was getting a little old myself. I'm taking ten and a half. The Chargers win by seven. Okay, that that's where I'm at on this one. So All right. moving on, what do you got next? All right, uh, Chiefs are going into Denver this weekend. Denver's getting five and five points right now. So. Listen, I'm I'm three and zero with the Chiefs this year, so it's difficult for me to go against them, right? So, I why would I pick somebody else here? Okay, and and giving up five points against the Broncos team that hasn't been great on defense this year, and Mahomes looks like a Hall of Famer. They're putting up points at will. Right? Hey, throw throw this football through that wall, through the through the uh, Marines and the Army, score a touchdown. Hey, no problem. Going to go ahead and do it. You know, I know their defense isn't good, right? And and I've been saying this now for two weeks after the week one. Is their defense so poor because they're just poor or is it because they're putting up points and their defense constantly has to be out in the field because they're scoring so quick? Look, I think this offense can overcome uh, the defensive liabilities that they have, right? And I look at the Broncos and I think they're, hey, you know, they're okay. Nothing great. They're okay. They're not bad. Um did any game they win this year pop out and say to you this team is a, you know is a sleeper? They're going to make the playoffs. I didn't see it. It's not for me, right? Sea- Seahawks aren't the same as they were a couple years ago, right? We we've seen them now three weeks, and you know they're just okay. Their defense isn't there. They they got no uh, running game. Their wide receivers not so that's eh. You know it's eh for me. Uh, Raiders are zero and three. They're finding their way. New coach. They got rid of Khalil Mack, and they're they're trying to figure it out. You know, and and how about this one, right? Case Keenum, you know, is it what the Broncos wanted? You know, week one, he threw three touchdowns, which is what they wanted. He also threw, threw three interceptions. And since that point, he hasn't thrown one, not one touchdown, right? He's got three touchdowns, five interceptions. So for me, how can you trust that, right? So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, I'm going to take the Chiefs. I'm going to lay the points one more time. I'm going to go 4-0 and this week. They're going to win by a minimum of 14 points because they're going to be so far ahead. They're just going to, it's going to be an easy cakewalk for them. I'm laying the points. I think you're safe, you know, giving up the five points. Uh, they're going to win by 14. I'm good. All right. No, I'm actually on this game too, but a little bit, a little bit different. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, you know, is this train going to run out of steam anytime soon? The guy's been freaking amazing. But a lot of it was, you know, just Andy Reid's genius schemes in the first half. You know, but you look at this defense, it's bad. And it's been bad in the first half, too. And you're right. There's probably a fatigue factor there. But at the same time, these guys, you know, they're – they're, they're rated one of the worst in the league, okay? Allowing 474 yards per game, which is, I think, the worst, and 6.7 yards per play, 30.7 points per game. And, you know, they played some, you know, high-flying offenses there, right? They played the Steelers. And uh, who else did they play? The, um, the Chargers. The Chargers, yeah. High-flying offense, bad defense. You know, and I think uh, I think some of that is, and they played the 49ers with with Jimmy Garoppolo. With, yeah, and he got injured that game. That's right, and it was at those home. are three te- Those are three teams that everybody, every expert said that they're making the playoffs. Those are good teams. So the problem here is that you know they have the best offense in the league, averaging thirty nine points and four hundred yards per game. And that means they could just bull rush uh, Denver. I faded Denver last week, and I was right about that. I had Baltimore. But um, the Chiefs have the second best red zone efficiency as well at 92%. And they actually have the overall best efficiency in football. For these reasons, I can't disagree with you, Danny. I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to 
bet on Denver plus five and a half. I can see I can see the Chiefs possibly, you know, boat racing at the very end. But um, what I do like here is Denver's ability to run the football and slow the 